everybody. Lower body day, lower body day. Light to medium weights are not required at all. You can literally just use your body weight. It's gonna be very difficult, so just keep that in mind. A little bit of bright light. You can see my face serum all over my face. <laughs> I'm ready to get warmed up, ready to go. Again, today's theme is lower body. Um, I have a set of light dumbbells. I probably can use them maybe for like two or three exercises, but that's about it out of the eight different exercises we're doing. Um, it's totally, totally optional. You do not need them. I think it'll be a very challenging workout without weight, so just keep that in mind. If you have a mini band, you could add that, and if you only have that over weights or vice versa, um, but it's lower body, so I'm ready for it. Actually, I'm not, I'm so <laughs> sore. But we're here, we're gonna do our best. I think it's time to warm up. Shane is here with me today. She's ready, she's excited. Is she scared? She's not as scared as what yesterday's workout looks like. Yesterday's was effing hard. It was hard. Oh God, but we're here, we made it, we're alive. Okay, let's walk it out. Actually, we're gonna start in that tabletop position. So knees on the ground underneath your hips, just hands underneath your shoulders. Drop your belly down to the ground, going into that uh, cow pose and then arching through your back, pushing in the ground, going to the cat pose. All the way down. Wait, all the way up, big squeeze. I got some notes from some really good DJ friends yesterday about IG Live, IG TVs, whoever are using the music. So the music just has to get a little bit lower, so I apologize. Take a few little lateral moves side to side, again, waking up that spine nice and slowly. All right, from here, pop your legs back into a high plank. Give me a downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs. Coming back into your high plank, bring your right foot aside your right hand and hold it here. I think I'm going to do this world's greatest stretch in probably every warm up just because it's so good. You can drop your elbow down a little bit lower if you'd like to get a deeper stretch or to stay where you are and then twist towards your right knee. Back through center. This time you're going to drop your back knee down to the ground, place the top of your foot flat, and then hinge your hips back so you open up through the back side of that right leg. Try to point your toe towards your shin. Heading back. Nice and slowly into that big lunge. Replace your foot, same thing on the other side. Bring that left foot outside of your left hand. Keep the foot nice and flat. Drop that elbow if you want. And then take a big twist towards that knee. Low. Drop your hand, drop that back knee, foot flat on the ground, and then shift your hips back. Try to keep your hips straight. Try not to open up towards the side. Keep everything nice and light, even if you don't move as far backwards. And then walk it forward. Lift your knee. And then one more time each side while we're here. Right foot side, right hand. This time you can bounce up and down with those hips. You can move forward and back with those hips. Try to create a little bit more movement. Drop that elbow down maybe. And then big, big, big twist, reaching towards the sky. Drop your hand, drop your knee, shift your hips back. Walk it forward, replace that foot, same thing other side. You can create a little bit more movement, bounce your hips, rock forward and back. Drop your elbow if you want it, and big twist. Drop your hand, drop your knee, shift your weight back. Walk it forward, replace your foot. You need one more downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs. Push your head through your arms. And then walk your hands back into your feet. Stand up nice and tall. All right, y'all. Finding some room. Left foot on the ground. Right knee's gonna come up. 
into that nice strong runner's posture. And you're gonna open up towards uh, clockwise, or clockwise rotation through that hip, and then bring it right back to center. Rotate open, lift that heel as you go around, and right back through center. Maybe three or four on this side. And then as you rotate, now at the starting position, we're going to reverse it. So just go reverse counterclockwise, not reverse clockwise, counterclockwise. Going backwards first, up, out, and over. Ooh, did it fly in here? Ooh. Keeping your chest nice and tall. Three, two, and shake it off. Same thing the other side. Left, right foot nice bend, left knee up, out, and around. Goal is to find that mobility while keeping your entire body upright. If your mobility is right here right now, that's totally fine, but you wanna avoid leaning to get that foot out and over. All the controls in that hip. And switch directions if you haven't already. Nice rotation, three, two, and shake it out. Going into our lateral lunges, we're going to step out, opposite hand, opposite toe, back through center, so about the opposite hand, opposite toe on the other side, and through center. We are going to be hitting a lateral lunge today, keep that in mind, in your lateral lunge, you want to make sure that when you step out, you're not stepping so far out that you're going to this like warrior two pose. Just far enough, so when you send your hips back, I'm in one long line. If I had two wall pains right here, I could fit my hip, knee, and foot in one line as I push through center. Three, two, and rest. This time going into our reverse lunge, back through center, and forward lunge, back through center. Same thing now on the other side, reverse lunge left, forward lunge on the left, and continue to alternate sides, right and left. In those lunges, you always want to make sure that you have at least a 90 degree bend. You shift your hips back just slightly so that weight goes into your heel. Three. You're gonna have one more side each time. Now two, really slow counts. And yeah, shake it off. From your last little bit before we pick up our heart rate, I just want you guys to go into a low squat, hold to the bottom for maybe two or three seconds, and then come back to standing. So every time you squat, you hold to the bottom for one, two, three, come right back up, right back down into that low squat hold. Use those arms to offset that balance. Really sit back in your chair. Rip those feet apart like you're trying to rip a piece of paper beneath you. It's gonna really activate your glutes. Very little time resting at the top of this move. And all that work goes into your glutes and your quads. Five. Four, find that high plank in three, two, and one. High plank. We have to go into very slow mountain climbers. Right and left. Right and left. Lower body is just as much as engaging through your core and those compound movements. You want to make sure that it's warmed up, it's activated, it's ready to go. Sitting it nice and tall. Going into a little fast feet transition. I'll show you what it looks like in three, two, and one. Feet go forward and back. You can use that little bit of arm action. Opposite arm, opposite leg. But kick your run in three, two, and one. Last move is a little lateral hop. Three, two, and one. Side to side. 
upper body is pretty neutral from the hips below to where I just see the movement. And down, climbers in three, two, one. Final round through, pick up that pace. Fast feet in three, two, and one. Butt kicker runs in three, two, and one. Try to bring that heel to that booty. Use that hamstring to pull that foot up. And lateral hops in three, two, and one. Thing. That was a warm up, you guys. If you feel like you want to continue to warm up, open up your hips, feel free to do so. So, you have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest of A, 40 of work, 20 rest of B. That's one round. You're doing four total. So, you're doing each move four times for a total of eight rounds. I hope that makes sense. Um, but it's about an eight minute set, and then you're doing four different sets of those. So, the first group of exercises, 1A and 1B, is a lateral squat walk plus a kneeling squat jump. The lateral squat, hop, uh, squat walk, you're staying in a low squat the entire time. The right foot works first. I step out to the right twice, back into the center, out to the left twice, back in through center. It's almost like a pulse, but you're adding in that little bit of movement with that foot. Two steps right, two steps left. You want to modify it a little bit, Every time you come back to center, you can stand, give your glutes a little bit of a break, and then go right back into it. Otherwise, stay low the entire time. Move number two is a kneeling squat jump. So, starting on the ground, you walk it up, squat jump, walk back down. Walk it up, jump, walk it down. Modification here, just walking it, standing all the way up, and walking down. Or if your knees really bother you on that kneeling position, just go into maybe a squat, and a squat jump. Modify where you feel like is necessary. That's group number one. For example, I do A for 40 seconds, rest for 20, B for 40 seconds, rest for 20, and then I back to A. So I do that whole thing four times total, four times total each move. Then move number two, or round number two, is gonna be a single leg loop bridge right and left with a pulse. So you're just working one move, one side at a time for 40 seconds. Right foot on the ground, my left knee is bent. I'll straight from the side. Hands are either out to the side or up to the ceiling. I drag to my heel, I lift. I lower for one inch, I pull back up, and I lower all the way back down. Lift, squeeze, lower, squeeze, release. 40 seconds of A, switch. 40 seconds of B, the opposite side. That was very low impact. Take it slow and control. That's a really good one to add in the weight to your hip if you have anything extra there. To keep y'all warm, Everyone give me 20 jumping jacks. I'm gonna make sure to do it with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's just say warm, loosey goosey. Three A, a hamstring walkout with an alternating lunge to jump lunge. Hamstring walkouts, you're again finding yourself in that glute bridge position and you're walking your heels out, walking your feet out as low as you can get them while still keeping your hips lifted and in line. Once you reach that point, you walk back in, keep your hips lifted the entire time. Modification, you can lower your hips down to the ground for a little bit of rest period after that move and then push them right back up and go into your next rep. Move number two, this one I'm going to grab onto two of my dumbbells. I'm going to go into a reverse lunge right, reverse lunge left, jump right, jump left. Reset. Reverse, reverse, jump, jump for 40 seconds of work. Final move is a wall sit. So if you have a wall near you, find it. You're just going to find a 90 degree angle, making sure there's a 90 degree angle in your knees, hold against the wall. If you don't have a wall by you, literally just hold a low isometric, isometric squat, that's totally fine as well. 
and then going into a lateral lunge to a narrow squat jump. So again, that lateral lunge, I go out to one side, I come together, I jump. Other side, come together, jump. Lateral, step, jump. Lateral, step, jump. That's it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with just one A and one B, lateral squat walk plus a kneeling squat jump. I think we're ready. I know I'm ready. Big deep breath. We're going in 10. Lateral squat walk. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Two steps out to the left. Stay nice and low. Two steps out to the right. Same thing. Remember that modification after you come back or something, you can always stand back up, reset, and get back from that move. 40 on, 20 off, four times each move. Last 10. Three, two, one, rest. We're going to be that kneeling to standing squat jump. Number 
two steps to the right, two steps to the left. Less than 10. Three, two, rest. Six out of eight, right here. Three, two, one, let's go. That 
glute into that under part of that glute is getting the bulk of that work. I see that day fly. He just wants to work out. Last 10. Three, two, rest. Ooh, this is gonna burn. This is gonna burn. Slow and controlled, name of the game. Five, four, three, two. Come back to that right leg, back to exercise A. Let's go. Remember, you lift to the top, lower one inch. Push through that heel, squeeze that glute, all the way back down. This is the slowest, most controlled move of the entire 
entire workout. Take advantage of it.
The closer that foot comes in, you're going to need more to those quads. Either one you choose is making sure that front knee never tracks over your toe. Three, two, one. You're holding on to those weights, grip them nice and tight. If that jump is too much, just stick with reverse lunges for this round. Take out that jump. Three, two, one. And rest. Two down, two to go. And you just have one more set after this. Ten. At the bottom of this bridge or bottom of this move, try to hold it for a couple seconds. Engage all those muscles and then walk it back in. Three, two, one. I walk it out nice and slow. I find that lower movement, I hold, and then I come back up. I want your rest time to be very little on top. Ten. Wall sit, 
or a low squat isometric hold into a lateral jump or lateral squat to narrow squat jump. We're gonna go in about 20 seconds. We're sweaty, we're good, ready to go. Big deep breath. In 10. She said sure. Three, two, and one. Nice and low. 93 bend. Shimmy down if you need to. We're just hanging out. Feel those quads instantly start to light up. Take those are quads. Keep this at lower though. Then I would get rid of weight. That's okay. I'd rather right. stand. 10, 9, 10. Heels drive, push those knees apart, push those feet apart. Three, two, one, rest. Remember, lateral right, pop your center. Lateral left, pop your center. You're gonna make it look way better than I just made it, but that's the idea. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lateral jump. Lateral, big jump. Use those arms, jump as high as you can. Remember that knee, ankle, hip, all in one long line. Arms can go overhead if you feel crazy, pulls you more mobility. 
Remember that modification, you can still work on things in that low squat position. 10. Three, two, one. Good booty, right in the face. You're welcome. You can scoot up one inch. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Fifteen. Three, two, and rest. I don't know if y'all knew this, but Shay is a known tutor. <laughs> so that's why I was in the line of fire. No, Sydney is a crop duster. She just walks in the room and tells me what the right thing is. She tells you a story and then she walks away and then me and our other sister are like, what is that? Let's go, we're on. 40 seconds. That's right, you want to get out of your tune story. No, I want you to work and talk. You started it. I work as I talk. This is why you need not squeaky shoes. Oh my god. Sydney, you're literally so sweaty on the wall. Sorry, Sydney's not using this. The wall. Aren't you sweaty? Not like you, please. What am I doing to it? Three, two, one, let's go. Nope, you're not on yet. Body weight only, no equipment required. It's gonna be a good mix of low impact exercises. Maybe a little bit of higher intensity just to keep your heart rate up, but mostly low impact and continuous movement. So keep that in mind. And that's it. If you guys wanna stretch, feel free to do so. I'm gonna hand that off to you today to take care of yourselves and move your bodies and stretch. And uh, I'll see y'all on another workout, of course. Thank you, love y'all. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.